Okay, well, I've done it. I jumped on the pocket letter bandwagon, and this is actually my second um, pocket letter. The first one I did, um, I got a little overwhelmed, you know, because I had never made one before, and, you know, everybody said it was a great way to use up your scraps, but I guess the best way wasn't to dump out all my scraps because I, I had it, this table was covered with scraps, and I didn't have a theme or a plan or a focus, and I just... Like, I got up and left the room for a while and then had to come back and, and regroup. Um, so I found getting started on my first one to be a little challenging. But after I finished the first one, I just fell in love with the process. So I am um, so excited about the second one. And it is for my friend, Kim, who doesn't usually watch um, YouTube videos, so I feel like I'm safe to share it. But I wanted to... Um, I spell out her name right here with this beautiful patterned paper. Um, I actually won this paper. It's gorgeous. Um, but I don't remember where from, but I'll look it up and then I'll put a link below to where you can go check out this paper. It's amazing. It's double-sided. I love double-sided paper. And it's, it's thick. You know, it's not flimsy paper. And all the paper I used in here came from that kit except for this one and this one. So it's really, really pretty, and it's vibrant, and I love it. So I've got um, the K here. I've got uh, washi tape samples here. I put um, a sentiment here, and it says, it's the smallest things that fill your heart. Then I put two butterfly embellishments. Um, here's her eye. And then here, this is... <laughs> my about me I wanted to make it into an origami heart but I didn't realize it would be gigantic so it ends up being um, a half a heart in her pocket and I'm gonna have to work on my origami skills and then I put another sentiment here and then um, for my letter I decided I'd go old school and see if I could still fold a note and I can still do the arrow but I was thinking back, and I remember there was also like an envelope, right? And then the football. And then wasn't there a heart? I don't know. If you remember, you know, let me know below. Because what I think I'm going to, all of my pocket letters, I think I'm going to fold my letters. Like we're passing notes in school. <laughs> and then here's her M. And then on the back, I love it when the back of your pocket letter is also got patterned paper. I just think it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So here I've got some um, pink sticker roses for her. I've got some purple bling for her. And then I've got these amazing um, laser cut chipboard pieces from Gina's Designs. I'm going to share a couple of these with my friend too. And then I just added a um, cardstock flower with my name and the year on it. So I really love how it turned out. I'm very excited about these pockets, as most of us are. And I look forward to um, getting to know you all better. I feel like this is a great way for us to get to know each other a little better. And I'm really excited about it. So thanks for um, taking the time to watch. And I'll see you next time.